Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This isn't real. It can't be. What is happening to me? Right now? Right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one, too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you got a long way to go. <laughs> Eleven thirty a.m. December 11th, 2054. Zurich security forces receive an anonymous tip giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down, and they took it hard. Outcome? Train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. It's gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. He didn't hear shit. If I wanna talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, Brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right. Let's go see if you can do this without ending up a Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Okay.
right. Use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hundred says you can do it.
and I didn't just help us communicate with each other. Hit him. Those were a whole lot trickier, brother. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, your brain is toast. But these? These fuckers are easy. Go ahead. Back in. As soon as it's on the other side of this wall. Interface with the central console. Pull any data you can. Heck, it's okay. It's okay. Just take a second. Take a deep breath in. And tell me what happened. I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts. I, I lived it all again. What's happening to me? Shit. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. The DNI can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. This shit happens. The doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. So what now? Oh, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat.
Got it. They had a man on the inside, at Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The botched assault man, it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. It took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. If you hadn't freaked out when you saw those robots. So what happens now? Now we can find the son of a bitch. <laughs>